Hi everybody, it's Elliot here from VentureSensei.com and today in this video I'm going to show you how to create a free professional email address for your businesses and for your websites. So if you're interested in making money online or starting your own business, be sure to subscribe to this channel, drop a comment down below and like this video. So without further ado, let's get on with the video. So in order to set up a free professional email address, the first thing you need to do is head over to Zoho Mail. So just type in Zoho Mail into Google and click on the first link. So what Zoho Mail is, it's basically similar to Outlook and Gmail, so it's an email provider, but it allows you to pick your own domain name for your email address. So all you need to do is click on pricing and scroll down until you see the free plan. So the free plan just allows you to send a limited number of emails every month and receive a limited number of emails. But when you're first starting your business or creating your website, this should be more than enough for than you'll need. So you just click on get started. And then it will ask you to add the domain name you want to use for your email address. So if you head over to GoDaddy, I'll just sign in and get the domain name I'm going to use. So I'm just going to use this one here, senseitees.com. So I'll just copy that and paste that in here. Then you just need to enter in your personal details. So And for your administrator account, so this is basically the name of the email address. So you don't want to put your personal name because you want it to be a professional email address. So you want to put something like contact, inquiry or get in touch at the domain name.com. So I'm just going to put contact. And then you want to enter in your mobile number. So let me just enter this in. And just re-enter that in. And then just type in a password. And then click sign up. Oop. Obviously typed in the wrong password. Try that again. Click sign up. And what they'll, Zoho will do now is send you a text code. So they'll text you a code immediately and you have to enter in that verification code. So I'll just get that. So let me just enter in my verification code. And click verify my mobile. So once you enter in the verification code, it will verify your mobile and then it will bring you to this dashboard. So this is the domain setup dashboard. So this is the area where we're going to be setting up the free professional email address with our own personal domain name. So what we now need to do is we need to confirm that we are the owner of the domain name we want to set up for our email address. So firstly, we have to choose a hosting provider. So the hosting provider is basically the company that you purchase the domain name from. So in my case, it's GoDaddy. So if I click GoDaddy, if you've purchased it from another website, you can pick any of these and the process works exactly the same. So I'll just click on GoDaddy and Zoho will generate these two codes. So what you need to do now is add these codes to your hosting provider. So I'm going to add these codes to GoDaddy. So I'll just show you how to do that. So if I head back over to GoDaddy, choose the domain name I want to use and just click on DNS. So it will bring you to the DNS management for this domain name. So the DNS management allows you to add those codes generated by Zoho. So what you want to do is you want to click add and over here it's asking you to add a C name. So if I just copy this and in here I'm going to choose C name. Then the host is what I just copied. So this first code here is the host and then we want to add to the points to destination. So we'll copy this and we'll paste this in points to. And then for TTL you want to put this down to the lowest possible. So this is basically saying how long it's going to take for Zoho to verify that you are the owner of the GoDaddy domain. So if you put this to half an hour, 
and just click save. Once you've done this, you can head back to Zoho and all you then need to do is click proceed to CNAME to actually verify that you own that domain name that you want to register for your email address. So if I just click on proceed to CNAME verification, and here we go, great, the CNAME records of the domain senseitees.com are perfect. So then all you need to do is click verify now. Uh, sometimes this process can take you know, up to one or two hours. So if you click on that and it doesn't verify straight away, don't panic, just give it some time to register. But for me, it's worked straight away. So I'll just click verify now. And then it brings you to this page. So it gives you one last chance to change the admin address. So the admin email address that you wanna set up. I'm just gonna leave it as contact, but you, if you've had a change of heart and you wanna change it, you they give you one more chance to change it to something. So just click on create account. This bit here is if you want to add users. So if you're if you have a company with different staff members and you want to add different users to for your email address, you can add those. So I'm just going to skip that. And this one here is you want to create groups. So it's a similar kind of thing. If you want to create groups for different staff members, so they've given the example of HR, but I'm just going to skip this as well. So here you want to actually configure email delivery. So this is what's going to allow us to send and receive emails for this professional email address. So once again, Zoho has generated some codes and you need to add these to your hosting provider. So in my case, I need to add them to GoDaddy. So what these are, they're MX codes. So they're basically mail exchange codes. So I need to add these to GoDaddy. So let's start by adding in the first MX code. So if I head back over to GoDaddy, you need to stay in the DS DNS management where you were earlier. And all you need to do once again is just click add. So this time the type we want to add is MX. So we'll add that in there. We'll go back to Zoho and we'll copy the first host. So we'll just copy that and paste that into host. Then the points to is the address. So if you copy the address and just paste that into points to, and then the priority for this one is 10. So we'll just copy that and we'll paste that in here. And TTL for this time, you can just leave. I'm gonna change it to half an hour again, just to speed up the process. And then just click save. And then we just wanna repeat that process. So we'll just click add, MX. The host is this one here. So at again, just paste that into host. The address this time is the second one. So that's the points to. And the priority for this one is 20. So we'll just copy that, paste that in here, and change this to half an hour. And then click Save. So now what you want to do is you just need to click on MX Lookup. So I'm just going to give it a little second to register. But then once you click MX Lookup, everything should be ready for you to start sending and receiving emails. So let me just click on that. And there we go. The following are the MX records available for your domain. So the mail exchange records have been configured with my hosting provider GoDaddy perfectly. So I can just click OK and then just click Next. We can skip this area here. This doesn't apply to creating a free professional email address. Email migration is if you want to migrate another email address over to, Zo to a Zoho account. So I'll just skip this as well. And then mobile access. So basically Zoho have a free mobile app that you can download for Android and Apple. So if you want to look at your emails on the go, you can download that and just sign in. So I'm just going to skip that as well. And then click go to the Zoho workplace. So now we can click on mail to look at our inbox. And this is basically just explaining how to use Zoho. So I'm just going to click see it later. And here's our inbox. So we can click on this and see that Zoho have sent us some emails already. And all I'm going to do now is send a test email from my Outlook account to see if everything is working perfectly. So let me just head over to Outlook and I'll send a test email from here. So let me just click new. And the email address was contact at Sensei Tees. I'll just put in here test email and sending test. So if I just click send on that, and go back to my inbox, my Zoho inbox, just click inbox. And you can see after I've refreshed it, 
that email I've just sent from my Outlook account has come over to my Zoho account. So everything's working perfectly. It's that simple, guys. You can set up a free professional email address just like that. You don't need to pay, you know, high monthly fees or have a lot of technical knowledge to do this. It's really simple and really easy. So I hope you have enjoyed this video and I've shown you a quick and easy way to set up a free professional email address. If you have enjoyed the video, please be sure to subscribe because there's plenty more tutorials and videos coming soon. Drop a comment down below about any video you'd like me to make in the future and like this video and share this video and I'll see you all next time.